Science tells us emotions run the traffic between our thinking brain and body via chemicals that we'd ordinarily call hormones. When the flow of chemical messages from our brain to our body runs smoothly, it produces that warm, cozy feeling we call happiness. But just like normal traffic, snarl-ups in our system make us feel uncomfortable, which is our system's way of saying, do something before we put our health and well-being at risk. So emotions are messages that give us feedback about our body's reaction to what's going on in our mind. And to help you understand the messages of your emotions, there's an emotional dictionary in the back of my book called Personal Intelligence. This literally helps you decode the meaning of your feelings. And if you pay attention to these messages, you'll be able to get into the habit of being relatively happy most of the time. Now, if you don't have access to this emotional dictionary right now, then start by noticing whether you feel happy or whether you feel unhappy. This is important because emotions move us. Happy emotions move us towards the things that we like or want, and unhappy feelings help us avoid things we don't like or don't want. This is what we'd normally call motivation. So feelings operate like warning lights in a motor car. If a light comes on and we pay attention to the discomfort we're feeling, we can address what's bugging us. Once we've done so, the warning light switches off, which in emotional terms mean the bad feelings go away. If we don't respond, feelings will simply ramp up until we do do something about it. Bad feelings feel horrible, but it's not worth ignoring something that's making us unhappy, hoping it will go away, because it won't. Depression is one such end-of-the-road condition, which occurs because we've been ignoring the quieter feelings telling you to stop. This is why symptoms of burnout look very similar to symptoms of depression. Ramped up emotions like fear and anger literally cripple our thinking brain and weaken our immune system. Have you noticed when you're stressed how your short-term memory just goes? Mm, that, that person we met yesterday, what was her name again? And that you keep getting flu or any bug that's going around. So emotions are not just annoying, fleeting feelings. They contain vital intelligence that we need to act upon if we're to maintain our sanity during these fast-paced changing times.